हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक जनरेटिंग आईडॉक इंटरफेस फॉर बापी और जनरेटिंग एएलई इंटरफेस फॉर बापी एंड इन द लास्ट वीडियो एंड व्हेन वी वेंट टू बीडीबीजी ट्रांजैक्शन कोड एसएपी जनरेटेड मैसेज टाइप आईडॉक टाइप सेगमेंट एंड वन इनबाउंड फंक्शन मॉड्यूल now we will go for all these things we will check all those things so that topic will make more more sense to you what is the first thing sap created we provided the name of the message type and this is the message type message type tells us about the meaning of the data and when we covered message type what is the transaction code for the message type we81 now people will ask yes in the previous video you told that transaction code for the message type is we81 so will it be visible in in we81 yes but with the help of bdbg you can check the importance how important that is with the help of single transaction code you can create many things related to the idoc interface if i will click on to this message type ultimately it will navigate to we81 only suppose if i will click this is your we81 transaction code only if i will separately show we81 you can see first thing message type i'll just go to back button from here so that i can separately show you we81 i will go to we81 and this is the first most important thing related to the idoc which tells us about the meaning of the data and you can see we have the message type this is the message type name which we gave in bdpg transaction code and ultimately it is in we81 transaction code now we will come on to second thing but the second thing created idoc type so we have two important things message type and second is idoc type whenever i will click on to this idoc type it will navigate to which transaction code we30 because we30 is the transaction code for the idoc type or basic type if i will click here see this is our we30 transaction code if i will separately show you we30 if i will go to we30 i will display this idoc type or basic type you can see this is our idoc type and the next most important thing we covered in the previous video that segment are the basic elements of idoc type is this you have a segment available segment available is this the same to same name which generated yes z1 bp employee 27 z1 bp employee 27 is this a part of your idoc type yes if i will double click if i will go to the segment editor you can see same to same column are there employee id employee name and if you want to check the segment you can check from we31 also suppose if i want to go for we31 you can see this is the segment which sap generated if i will go we have same to same column is there now we will go for most important understanding in terms of segment if you see the segment name you will find it very very similar you will tell that we did something same to same previously in the previous video just i will go to my function module which we created at the start level if i will go to my function module this is the function module which we created at the start level start level 
if I will display the function module, we created one import parameter and this is the structure which we created. If I will double click on this structure, is this has the same to same column employee ID employee name. So just see how SAP created the segment. SAP simply simply took the reference from here. And if you see this structure, and if you see this structure, only one difference is there. This is Z Papi employee 27. This is Z1 BP underscore employee underscore 27. So just SAP replaced BAPI word with one BP. Same to same. Two columns are there. Same to same two columns are there. Just see how impactful this BDBG transaction code is. So whenever you this transaction code is creating the segments also, yes. And how it is creating the segment, it is checking, it is checking in your function module. Whatever the types are there, it is just simply replacing the BAPI word with one BP. Extremely important terminology. Now, we have IDOC type, we have message type. Now we check the segment. Now we will go for one more important thing here. We have a transaction code WE82, new transaction code. In this transaction code, we have the mapping of IDOC type with message type. And if you will check WE82, automatically we will get these two things there also. Suppose if I will go to WE82, I will press enter. If I will just scroll down, you can see easily this is our I message type and it is binded with our IDOC type or basic type. So this just you just you think you did something with you created the IDOC interface through BDBG and entries are reflecting into all their dedicated transaction code. So BDBG is very impactful. Now we will go for one more important point. The last thing which got generated is the inbound function module. Whenever I will click on to this inbound function module, you will get more and more learning. If I will click on to this inbound function module, which SAP generated as a part of BDBG, if I will go scroll down in this function module, ultimately this is our function module which is coming. If I will double click, is this our logic? Yes, this is our logic. So ultimately in this function module, SAP is calling our function module only, our logic only. Once tactical will go more and more, you will get more and more clarity onto this. And whatever we did through BDBG transaction code, everything will store into this TBDBE transact, TBDBE table. And this table also will play a vital role in the future videos, which will help us to understand. If I will go for this table, it is clearly saying this is a table for BAPI IDOC interface or BAPI ALE interface for inbound processing because as of now we did inbound only if i will go to contents if i will pass the name of the message type which got created if i will execute you can see everything is there message type this is your object type means internal identification of business object method create IDOC type, basic type. This is our inbound function module. So each and everything is storing into this statement. Extremely important transaction code and just see how impactful it is. You used only one BDBG transaction code. With the help of that, you created the IDOC interface or ALE interface and just see how many things created. 
IDOC type, message type, segment, inbound function module, everything. And you are able to check all those things in their respective transaction code. WE81 message type, WE30 IDOC type, WE31 segment. We are able to check the inbound function module. Lastly, we check the mapping also of IDOC type with message type in WE82 transaction code. So that's it in this video. In the next video, we will go for more more learning on this. Thank you.